Hello there. So, here's another boring video. I'm going to show you one of my new tools. This is the Klein Tool Scout Pro Max. Let's have a look at that. So, before that, I had the Scout Pro 3. Now, this is probably really useful for the standard Sparky. This one's pretty much the same, but it's got a few added features. The good thing about this is it works with the test and map. So this will test it and tell you the, the number it is. So if you've got multiple ones you can do, instead of just going around and whacking these in so you can identify the Cat5 cable, that'll actually test it for you. So we're gonna show you a few little things. If we look at the display, See, there's quite a few little menus on there. So we'll just go through a few of them. So firstly, you've got your tone tester here. We'll click on that. Obviously, we'll just do a little test to simulate. Good thing is, if you've got the, the warble guns, the warble pens, this is all integratable with this. So turn it on and we can actually tell it. We can change the hertz or the sound. Make it wobble if you wanted to. We even set how long we want it to wobble for. So we could identify cables with this if we wanted to. Keep thinking it's touch screen because it's got the LED display, but it's not. You've got to use these little buttons. So, yeah, here's our wobbler in action. I believe we can do that with a few different connections as well. Next one, you have, if you've got a switch, we can turn it on, make it solid green, or we can leave it on flash. So if there's multiple switches and you don't know where the cable goes to, it will give you a heartbeat on the switch so you can actually identify it if need be. Standard Cat5 tester, Cat6 tester. So we plug it in. Press enter. Test. Takes a few seconds. There we go. It'll give it the length if it's worth it. We can even save that. Give it a name. Save successful because we can upload this onto a laptop and download a form for it if you wanted to. Usual sort of stuff, all these testers, the lower end test, it's not a lower end test, but the low, the medium testers are all the same. You can test phone cables, you can test your F connectors, you can test your phones, you can even check if there's a network. So if there was a network connection, we would plug it into a switch, we can test if there's internet there, if you can actually gain access to the internet. So there we go. Okay, so once we've saved some of our tests, so you can see there, if we go on to the test menu, we've got a few tests saved. Literally plug it straight into the laptop and then we can export them straight to Excel. Oh, go away, pop-ups. And there you have it. So there we have what when we've tested. If we'd have named it, they'd be there. So we can see pass, fail, the length. Obviously, the lengths weren't that great to do with. But there you go. So you could have that straight on report. There's nothing really to download. You just literally plug it straight into your laptop and away you go. So there we go. We've been able to download our tests for our Cat5 cable straight onto there. Um... Other things that we've got in the box, you've got your plug testers, you've got your F-connector testers, a bunch of leads and your manual. Ideally, if, if you was doing this, if I was buying this again, you know, you definitely want to get the test and map connectors, which work across the range, and then the Wonder Pen, which will work with the tester as well. They're all sort of bought individually. 
So just a disclaimer, obviously some of this stuff has been sent out to me to test. I bought this myself and I bought these myself. But the testers we've been kindly sent out to have a look at and have a play. So yeah, to plug it in, it is literally new USB-C type connector or whatever they call it nowadays. Plug that straight in, plug it into your laptop, as long as you've got the drivers installed, which on my laptop, it just worked straight away. You can just export it straight to an Excel file. Whether or that is going to be compliant for the higher end jobs, this is probably good for the small spark or the small data guy that doesn't need official testing. If you need to have official certs, then you'll probably want a different machine. But nice little bit of kit. Which one would you choose? So this one is the Scout Pro 3, the older one, which basically does pretty much what this one does. Just no dis LED display screen, and you can't save the reports. You know, I'd say if it was me, average spark, that is a nice little tester to have. And then if you want to be fancy, this is quite a nice little piece of kit really. It's a little bit bigger, but all the old stuff that goes with the other models will work on this. Even the pens, everything. Let us know what you think, and would you buy one? So we're just gonna be doing some testing of some quick and simple Cat5 connectors. And that's pretty much how quick it tests test. So that's tested, that's all passed. We can save that. You can give it a name. And that's done. So then we can do another one. Let's pretend we can use one of the test and map leads. Press your test button. And we can save that one. Save successful. Once we've got our tests all done and saved, literally all we have to do, plug our USB, stick it in, plug it into your laptop. And the laptop will identify the, the file, double click it. And then here we go, we can save directly to a PDF file. Probably not working great because we've already got that one. So we'll get rid of that one and we'll open it again. Press yes, and there we go. So we've got it here. Also got the ones that we've named. There we go. So you can see the QQs, the ones I've just done in front of you. Gives us the length, if it's shielded, how it's been tested, what the ID was, yada, yada, yada. So it's quite a good little thing for when you're doing loads in a house. On a small domestic job, you could literally test all your cables, name what they are, and then you can give that on the handover to the client and say, yeah, everything's been tested.